Hey guys, I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on complementary colors and split toning in Photoshop. Really simple techniques that can make your photos pop and more importantly than that is create a sense of balance in your photos that the absolute experts, professional color graders in film and your classical painters all utilize this notion of complementary colors. Wow, this is, that's very bright. But basically, we have a color wheel here that I pulled out from Google. And you can see uh, if you take two opposing colors on the color wheel, so like yellow and purple or red and green, blue and orange, uh, those are complementary colors. And what that means is they will give a sense of balance when, you, when they're utilized together and they really allow each other to uh, to pop. So I just wanted to show you a really cool technique to, to incorporate complementary colors in your photos in post-processing, which is something hidden in Photoshop called split toning. I'm going to use Adobe Camera Raw because that's what I'm comfortable with, but this is absolutely the pretty much the exact same sliders that you can find in Lightroom. Uh, so basically you have your highlights, your shadows, and your balance. That's pretty much all you're working with. And how it works is if I move the saturation all the way up here on the highlights, and the hue is all the way on the red. And when I move this slider around, you can see it changes the highlights to different colors, which is really cool. Now I'm gonna put the saturation back to zero, and I'm gonna give you a great shortcut, which is the Alter Option key. So when you hold the Alter Option and you move it, it's going to be as if the saturation was at 100%, so you can really see what it's doing. And you can see, if you let go, you'll go back to your original image. Now this is cool just for color correct, I mean, this is, that's really nice, this purple. Um, man, should have done that. This was my recent uh, submission for Lines Week. Um, but what I want to show you is the classic, and this you'll see in many, open up any, type it, you know what, I'm going to do this right now. I'll type in, okay, I'll type in, uh, Transformers, um, I don't know. I don't, I, I honestly don't, I don't know what these, uh, what these are from, but let's see if we could find an actual screenshot. Let's see. Uh, screenshot? Yes. Okay. Face is orange. Hand is orange. Shadow is blue. Look at his shirt. I mean, it looks like a gray shirt, but that's blue. Look at the window here. That's blue. Blue and orange. Very blue. Look at the... I mean, this is classic. And this is what graders do, color graders do for movies all the time. If you look over here where my mouse is, that's orange, orange to blue. Where have I gone? Take me back. This is pretty cool. Again, very orange. Look at the skin tone, extremely orange here. And then you take a look at the shadows, blue. Blue up there bluish green, okay? It's subtle, and and I think that's what I want to bring out also, is that these things can be very subtle. So I'm gonna take this blue-orange technique. I'm gonna find like a nice orange for my highlights, something around there, and for my shadows, kind of a funky blue, and then I could bring up the saturation as much as I want, and what I could also do is I can play with the balance. So all the way on the left side, you're gonna be heavy on the shadows, meaning heavy on the blue. All the way on the right side, you're gonna be favoring the highlights. And, you know, it, it, it's a fun effect. I would dial this back afterwards. Um, I also wanna show you one other example of a submission from this past week's album of lines. I really, really enjoy this photo uh, by John, John Chang, who uh, submitted this for Lines Week. And this is a very orange image coming from these uh, outside, you know, tungsten color bulbs. And 
I think it could be it could be I don't want to say improve, but a different technique of perhaps pairing and balancing the orange with, with some blue is by putting some blue in the shadow. So I'm going to hold the alter option and maybe like a blue green just like that. And then we could bring the shadows up just and it actually it mutes the orange somewhat. You see the orange gets muted. Now, again, maybe that's a bit heavy. We can go to the balance slider and, and move it a bit. Let me show you the before and after here. You know what you could even do? We can go to the um, to our curves, or we, we could do this in Photoshop also, of course, make a curves adjustment layer. And if we lift the shadows of the blue, that's going to give us that funky blue. Um, you know, we can also go and punch in the reds for the highlights. Uh, and again, these are things I would I would dial back. Um, to me, this is an interesting image, uh, but again, I would I would go into Photoshop, make this a layer, and then bring this to like, I don't know, 30%. Uh, but just to give you an idea of the different types of looks that you can get uh, by playing with the shadows and the highlights in the split toning tab here for uh, Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom, it's a lot of fun. It's a great technique to, to implement complementary colors in your images. I definitely recommend you look out for it and look out for it when watching movies also, especially the movie. Oh, what, what movie was this? Uh, the guy who like swallowed a pill and then got smart and stuff. What was that called? Oh wait, movie. Limitless. <laughs> I can't believe that actually came up. <laughs> Limitless. Okay. Limitless movie. Okay. Okay. What's amazing about this movie, from what I remember, is that when he was like down in the dumps and kind of his not super genius self, things were very blue and drab. The color palette for these types of scenes were so clear to me when I was watching it, I was able to appreciate it. And then when he took the pill, it was orange. Look how orange his face is and look how blue, look at the difference there. And I noticed every time he took the pill, boom, he was like super orange. And whenever he was just his normal, sad, depressed self, it was super blue. Uh, I definitely recommend you, you watch that movie just to get a kick out of the color palette that they, that they have in there. All right, guys, uh, that was supposed to be a much faster uh, screencast, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you are not following our amazing photography project, please go to 52frames.com to join our weekly photo challenge project. And I'll see you later.